All right, and welcome back to Dungeon Crawl. Um, I'm running version 0.16.1 now, and uh, after some uh, unfortunate setbacks, we'll be going back to our happy octopode wizard ways. Ah, oh, always, always lovely the uh, layout here. I don't have sounds. Um, some of you might prefer that, but uh, for now, uh, it's just because. Um, I haven't gotten around to configuring them for the new version. I, I really just did the basics, so there might be a couple of things that throw me off, like uh, not auto-picking up things I think I should, and as I figure them out, I'll get the uh, config set up. Anyhow, onward. So here we go, first guy. Let's uh, zap him a little. Ah, oh, that's right. Need to go into my skills, set them to manual. Dodging's fine. Stealth, not s well. You know, stealth might help me not get uh, killed by snakes that are, like, just sleeping around the corner. Uh, definitely, though, need to focus on conjurations. That's my bread and butter. That's how I'm killing things. Let's, uh, let's do that. Alrighty. So, wait a little and let's keep going. Well, this isn't fun. Luckily, you got that. Um, I feel like the hobgoblin's the more dangerous one. I might be wrong on that. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. Come on now. All right. Oh, I think that's the first time I've ever gone down the stairs for safety. <laughs> oh god, here we have to go back up now. Alright, sigh of relief. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that's something that's a little different. I think I have it set to auto butcher on my old settings. Right. Ooh, a ring! A ring! Oh man, should we risk it? I mean, rings are supposed to be like the super cool thing about octopodes. What are we? It's just a golden ring. All right. Well, let's uh, let's try it. Let's see your jewelry. Yeah, you can't wield. You have to. Uh, not P. Yeah, it's capital P. All right, that's it. Hey, plus three ring of strength. Could we get any luckier? All right, it's time for me to horribly, utterly fuck this up now. <laughs> All right, good so far. Oh, I've reached level two. Hooray. All right. A goblin. Luckily, I have a little distance. Ah, oh, yes. All right. That little bit of extra mana is just so useful because sometimes if you miss or there's just a lot of enemies or they're really strong, you just you don't have enough magic to keep the uh, damage going. This isn't good. See, he's got a dagger, hasn't noticed me. This is the one that's throwing rocks. There we go. All right. So we got ring mail. I don't think I can, yeah, I can't wait. Corpse, meh. Nice. Nice when you can take out, uh, ooh, sling bullets of flame. All right, I'll pick those up. Why not? We might pick up a sling at some point to, to uh, some good effect. Let's see here. For now, I think we need to check. Not that. Let's see here. Okay. That's right. <clears throat> so failure. 17% on these. But it's still useful to have the option to blink. Yep. And uh, let's also learn call imp. All right, 
Good. So now we have blink and call int as well. That should help us out if we get in any really tight scraps, and I haven't wasted all of my mana. Fortunately, happens a lot. By the time I'm in a tight scrape, it's usually because something went wrong with the mana, so, mana spraying. Man, this, uh, this dungeon here is just... Look at that map. It is just a web of little intricate tunnels. Normally looks a lot prettier than that. See here, I got two fruits. Gecko. Gotcha. All right. Got the rat. Got the bat. Come on. Let's see if we don't get a cat. Cat? No, but another rat. At least it runs. I really ought to do that more often though. Grabbing the bats is a great way to hold them still so that you can uh, sort of smash them. Strength is 9 with this ring, which is pretty sweet. I don't see us replacing that anytime soon. Um, intelligence is 20. Gosh, that, that does help a lot, doesn't it, with our magic? I'm not exactly sure the amount. Hmm. I, I guess we'll go with strength still for now. Just more health is always better. And um, I, I'm not sure whether or not the ring actually adds to our health. I think it has to be your base attributes for your actual hit points. So um, probably smart that we do that. This here. Moth off. Right, okay. It's, it's always weird, the strange things you'll see behind glass, and sometimes if you've got the right magics uh, or the right abilities, you can do some pretty cool um, tricks. Like, um, sometimes there's special items hidden back there, or really powerful monsters. If you have a way of damaging them and they can't get to you, it's a pretty easy experience. With telekinesis, you might even get yourself a decent drop. I think in one of my plays I actually did something that was a little gamey. I think I warped into a room that would be otherwise impossible to enter from that floor. I think you could like go down and back up for it. But um, it'd be nice one day to get some super artifact out of there just because you could uh, pick it up without actually reaching it. Just because they have it behind glass. And I, I wonder if that's not why they're there. Just to make uh, characters, you know, that are sort of specialized in magic that have those abilities, to give them just a little bit more reason that those are uh, useful. Right. I like that we're just blasting things. Um, getting a little too calm with this run because it's been nice to us so far. It's always a scary thing when the game is nice to you. Shield. I think I can... I think a buckler is one of the easiest shields to use with things. No, I can't. I can't. It's not. Darn. Alright. Uh, let's see here. Can I wear the shield? Oh, that's what you have to do. You have to wear the shield. Oh, cool. I got like... <laughs> Just sort of writhing there on top of my tentacles. It's all good. Gosh. Uh, Z, C. Alright. Alright. Start. The octopus so slow. There we go. When you constrict things, it seems to be a little bit easier. I tentacle slap him, just 
my tentacles. <laughs> you couldn't see it, but I was flailing my arms around. Alright, got a full complement of mana again. <sighs> Alright, well this shook me right out of my uh, tented state. Damn, man, this got, <laughs> this got scary quick. Those jackals are really dangerous. If you turn a corner in like an open room with them, you're just, uh, they're just... They're fast, and they're pretty strong at this level, and uh, there's always a few of them together in a group. If you come across just one, that only means that you haven't seen the others yet. Lord stones. All right, annual exploring there. All right, cobalt move. Yeah. How was that? What the fuck was that? Oh shit, Viper! You saw that snake, right? Yeah. All right. All right, man. Snakes are. <laughs> I'm gonna be like permanently afraid of snakes in the real world now, just because they are so damn dangerous. They, they kill so many of my characters. I was going through the list before I switched over, and there's just. It's not like a majority, but it's uh, it's probably the single like largest cause of death on its own, like out of all the others, poison has caused the most number of deaths. Although it's uh it's definitely not <laughs> definitely not a majority, it's still oh, man, these cockroaches. Alright, so so I believe now I, I figured out I think that um the levels, the enemies get harder in general. So even if they're the same type they will be a little bit tougher every level. I think that's what's going on here. I didn't think that was the case before. I thought it was just new monster types and they all had, you know, just slightly random uh, stats to them. War axe. Hmm. Either that or I'm just not doing well, which is possible. What are my skills looking at? Let's see here. Probably turn on shields. Turn on combat. We'll keep this going until it gets to three. Keep that going. Turn off stealth for now, because that's doing fine. Actually, it's such an aptitude. Well, we'll turn it off for now. Turn that on. All right. That looks fine. Summonings. Transit. Oh, well, it's going to just be a little bit slow for a while. No, that's that's not going to do it all. Uh, it, it can't be slow for a while. This is fine for now. This is fine for now. Don't really need the unarmed combat. I mean, I'd like it, but important thing. These are the ones that need to grow up so that my spells don't fail, so I have higher success chances, and so that I can do the more difficult and powerful ones. Locked it. All right, got the adder. All right. Snakes, man. <laughs> I'm so scared of the snakes. You know, at this point, it's pretty likely that we have a scroll of remove curse, so let's just go ahead and pop that bad boy on. 
Plus five dexterity. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Um, dang, that's amazing. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's. Uh... All right. Let's let's uh, let's let it roll. Come on. Let it ride. Let it ride. Oh. Oh, <laughs> cursed amulet of inaccuracy. Well, and that's why you never gamble, children. <laughs> when you're doing well, just leave. Just stop. <laughs> All right, let's try uh, R. Recharging, not carrying chargeable things. I K. Okay. Enchant armor. Let's go with the hat. Likely we'll hold on to the magic hat for a long time. Let's see here. And um sorry, the last one. Oh my brain hurts. Scroll of random uselessness. Well, we'll find something eventually. Um for now though, let's uh let's examine this very right heavily. Wow. Gringoire put out his hand for the little bag, but he drew back. Do not touch it. It is an amulet, and either you will do mischief to the charm, or it will hurt you. Hmm. Yeah. Less accurate in melee combat by... Oh, man. Ah. Oh. That's, that's pretty bad. I mean, that's really one of the last things we want, is more inaccuracy. Um, just been raving about how much that would be annoying. Ah, oh, gosh. We gotta, we gotta fix this soon. I mean, luckily we got the plus five dexterity that'll help a little bit, but... Ooh, scroll of emulation, that's a shame. I had to waste it like that, but I really need to get rid of this charm. It will be the death of me. Um, let's go ahead and uh, and eat up some food. I e s e turkey. Let's have a meat ration. And a bread ration. There we go. We are super, super full. We're engorged. We're happy and fat. All right. So now we have to go down another level. That is what we will do. But first, before we get into anything, I want to read some of these scrolls of identify and figure out what these potions are. Because, um, Really nice to know if we have a heal potion or a cure potion. It's probably wasteful, but uh, there we go. Potion of heal. See, that will be incredibly useful to know. Um, store abilities. I mean, not so much now, but eventually that will be important. Shit. Jackals. Call in. Yeah, good job, Snow Imp. All right. The imps do tend to be a little bit shitty at um, figuring out that they should attack hostile things. Generally, what you have to do is just sort of sandwich them in between you and the enemy. Um, which is unfortunate, but that is how it uh, tends to be. I wonder if octopodes are any good at uh, whips. I would think they would be. Like I would think racially that would make sense for them, being that they're already like whippy tentacle. But in that case, you would think then that um, well. Actually, in a lot of ways, clubs are, you know, the weapon that humans would have uh, natural affinity for. Any kid can pick up a club and use it. 
can't say the same for any other animals. Well, except for maybe like, you know, other apes and things. All right. We're doing pretty well. Doing pretty well, guys. Um, I know I'm cursing us to doom by saying that, but we are doing pretty well. No, Dungeon Might. I don't even know what that does, but I'm pretty sure there's a, a, a problem with those. I just can't remember what it is. I just feel like there's a reason I should dread those. Like, early game. Maybe I'm just uh, being overly cautious, but be better that than dead, right? Ooh! Ruined boots. I can't wear boots, can I? Fuck. <sighs> Octopodes, man. <laughs> I can't complain. We have two amazing magical rings. Uh, so it's not like I haven't been getting useful loot. Um, we're doing, doing well on that so far. Oh, is that a sling? Yeah, let's get that. And then let's wield that. The scroll of immolation? Why is that considered not useful? I don't know, I'll take its advice and just assume that if I set things on fire, they'll also set me on fire. And that's how I'm going to rationalize that. Oh, yeah! Oh, that's amazing. Burns the rat. All right, that, that reminds me, I need to uh, get that set up at least, because we definitely want slings. Shields at one. Uh, I'd like to get it up to two before I stop training it. It's, it's just, it's decent at one. At least it's not totally useless now, but it's not, like, great or anything either. But um, that'll have to do for now. Nice. Conjurations is at three. Speaking of which. Yeah, only an 8% chance of failure with the magic dart. So that's that's pretty sexy there. What else can we learn here? These, these are a little bit harder. Um, we can't really handle it yet. We need to get better, uh, better charms, hexes, fire. There's a lot of the magical things we need to focus on. So, so maybe lots. Um, we got conjurations pretty well set for now. Um, on, I guess. We'll put emphasis right now. I'd really like blink to always work. So let's let's do translocations. Armor, meat rash. Well, an armor thing, why not? Let's go ahead and get our hat extra good. We have so little armor, it's important to make sure it's good. <laughs> Ball python. Oh no! No. No. There you are. Wow, that was a short level there. Okay. Come on, Bubby. Weight command? What is the weight command? Oh, uh, space. Enter. Oh, he's sleeping. It probably was working. I'm just, I'm just dumb. Right. Oh, no. What is this? So you won't be tasting my sweet, sweet flesh today. Got the scroll of enchant. Boost up that buckler. Ah, 
Oh, you know, I could have used the enchant on the amulet to remove the curse. Oh, distressingly furry scale mail? Alright, I gotta read the description on this. This this is like a this is a special, isn't it? A leather suit covered with metal plates attached to each other. Da -da 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 -da. Wearing mundane armor of this type, give falling six. Da -da -da -da. This ancient artifact cannot be changed by magic or mundane means. Not can deform the human race like to the armor's iron brace. Well, it's like all distressingly furry, but there's not really anything about that. It's kind of maybe it has something to do with it. Like if I were to actually wear it, sad face. Can octopodes make a sad face? Sad octopod. Ecumenical temple. That's that's an ecumenical matter. Oh, this is amazing. Um, all right, so this is about. I'm I'm assuming this is getting close to about 30 minutes, so I'm going to stop the recording here just to split it up so it doesn't take me forever to upload it, and uh, I'll be back with a uh, wow! Hey, congrats to us, part two of uh, this run. Anyhow, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.